Porsche doesn't need some schlub like me to review its products. They're going to sell tens of thousands of vehicles regardless of what I say and probably make untraceable sums of money in the process. Still, they gave me this Macan GTS for a week. It must have been some sort of clerical blunder because I certainly don't deserve it. And I'm sure whoever approved this loan has probably already been fired for gross negligence and possibly even jailed. Still, I'm not about to let this windfall go to waste. Macan GTS soldiers on without any significant alterations for 2018, but that's okay. It's a machine so finely dialed in, any changes are more likely to screw things up than make an improvement. Battling high-end versions of the Audi Q5, Jaguar F-Pace, and Mercedes-Benz GLC, this little Porsche has its work cut out. But even when competitors brandish their big guns, there's no need to worry, the GTS can win. With prestige, performance, and pedigree only Porsche can provide. The Macan is Zuffenhausen's most popular model in the U.S., with more than 21,000 sold last year. Doing a little math, scary I know, reveals that more than a third of all Porsches delivered here in 2017 were Macans, which means it's a hugely popular product. And undoubtedly helping this little crossover appeal to all of those buyers is a broad diversity of models. The GTS neatly cleaves this range in two, separating base and S models from the top-level turbo variants, providing plenty of sport in a stylish package that won't completely decimate your finances. Base price for an entry-level model with a four-cylinder engine is just shy of 49 grand, while the mid-range GTS variant kicks off at about 70. Now, our tester was equipped with a handful of options, like the Sport Chrono package, Navigation, and Sapphire Blue Metallic Paint, which inflated its price to a not unreasonable $76,110. But the only numbers most of you probably care about pertain to the powertrain. Up front rests a twin-turbo 3-liter V6 that's good for 360 horsepower and 369 foot-pounds of torque. That twist is sent to the pavement through a standard all-wheel drive system, as well as a lightning-quick 7-speed Porsche Doppelkupplung automatic gearbox. For those of you that care, fuel economy is rated at 17 miles per gallon city, 23 highway, and 19 combined. Ensuring we never hit any of those EPA scores, this machine's acceleration is borderline explosive. It will blitz to mile a minute velocity in as little as 4.8 seconds, which is scalding for a vehicle that weighs nearly 4,200 pounds. At full song, this silky smooth V6 engine makes glorious noises dominated by intake growl. It only gets better if you push this double barrel shotgun button, which activates the sports exhaust system, letting the Macan bellow operatically from both ends. As you'd expect, the dual clutch automatic transmission is equally brilliant. It will seamlessly shift through its gears in normal driving or rip through the ratios if you're in a hurry. Underway, the GTS's steering initially feels a bit too light in your hands, but you soon grow to appreciate its near telepathic responsiveness. This precision instrument makes it feel like you can slice the road into millimeter-sized pieces. It's remarkably good for any car, let alone a utility vehicle. Providing ample flexibility, the GTS also features an adjustable air suspension system that lets you change the ride height and, of course, the stiffness as well. Now, I find myself just leaving it in comfort mode because it really irons out the bumps in our terrible Midwestern roads here without any major handling trade-offs. The Macan's interior is a no BS zone. The overall design is simple and timeless. Up front, you find support of Alcantara trim seats. As for passengers, the rear is a bit on the tight side. It's comfortable, but could use a bit more room for leggy riders. Now, the cargo area is unexpectedly generous, providing nearly 18 cubic feet with the seats up and 53 with them down. 
Unlike what other automakers are doing these days, Porsche has adorned the Macan center console here with a seemingly insane number of physical buttons. And what looks like complete madness at first glance is actually a highly usable arrangement because once you learn sort of the location of each button, it's very easy to operate the switches without even looking, especially for a sports exhaust system. Perhaps my biggest complaint with this vehicle centers on the infotainment system. It's just not all that intuitive, plus they have the gall to charge you extra for navigation. And some of the instrument cluster displays could have been ripped off of a graphing calculator. They are seriously low resolution and have no place in a luxury car like this, but at least you do get a full color screen on the right side of the gauge cluster. Well, as you've seen, there is precious little to gripe about here. The Macan GTS is a useful and highly entertaining crossover, one that melds unimpeachable dynamics with startling straight line speed. Despite the performance, it's still a paragon of good taste and high quality. Of course, that snarling engine is easy to fall in love with as well. Detracting from the overall package, however slightly, the GTS is still far more sports car than crossover, which is reflected in its somewhat restricted back seat. It'd also be nice if those gritty looking displays were upgraded. Naturally, I could also bitch about pricing, but I'm not going to. See, it's not on the list. Good things like this cost money, often a lot, like around $76,000 in this case. Feeling like a four-door Cayman on stilts, the Macan GTS is a wonder to drive, likely serving up the best dynamics in its segment. But you probably didn't need me to tell you that, and frankly, neither did Porsche. For the complete review of this 2018 Porsche Macan GTS and all kinds of other great stuff, make sure you head over to autoguide.com.